Hi guys, Bart and PA Brew News. Big day, evil, evil yard work and things like that. Don't like it, neither does DJ. But what do we do after we do it? Well, one, I had a beer. Mm, a big beer. What would you do after that? Have another beer. That's right, another beer. Because unlike DJ, I'm not fit. I'm a big fat, 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 fat fatty. Because I like good beer and I can't stop drinking it. Um, Action Keller Rauch beer, um, the German smoke beer from Bamberg, Germany. But this is the Fasten beer, which is a um, a Lent fest beer, um, a, a Lent beer. So uh, like liquid bread, uh, like the monks used to drink, the Benedictine monks, things like that. They used to drink beer, um, fast on beer, only drink beer during Lent, things like that. So I'm assuming, I don't know the style of the Faustin beer, but I'm assuming that it is a thicker bock, double bock kind of a style beer. Uh, I don't really want to read anything, so I'm just looking for an ABV. 5.5, a Lent beer, Faustin beer for Lent. Uh, 5.5 alcohol by volume. I was, I was kind of actually expecting a bigger ABV, but now that I think about it, if you want to, you know, fat, if you're fasting on it, you want an obsession on it because you want to stay full. So that makes sense. Purple cap. Cool. Purple cap. Yeah. It's definitely going in the collection. Big, um, what was it? One pint, nine fluid. Yeah, one pint, point nine fluid ounces. Not a German pint, or not an English pint, but, uh, a full, nice, big German glass. And if you guys, um, the homebrewers out there, a quick note. If you guys homebrew and you like bottling, if you want to reuse bottles, if you can get the Schlenkella, these style bottles, the label, after you boil them, it just comes right off. It's so cool. The label just falls right off and just peels. No, no cleaning involved. Just boil the bottles to sterilize them. You're good. You're good. So if you can find that, definitely do it. Time to get into the beer. Really excited to try this. I saw Peter, the master of hops, try this, and he enjoyed it. And I, I'd like to. That was a while ago, actually. So I'm glad I can't remember anything about it. But I'm definitely seeing alcohol legs like, sticking to the side of the glass. This is a couple months old now, compared to Lent. It's way past Lent. Yeah, actually, it's a very sticky film, which is nice to see. Nice good protein sticking to the sides of the glasses too. Alright. Let's get some aromas. Listen to some abrupt crazy shit. Oh man. Very, very smoked bacon. Not very super sweet. Not like maple syrup, smoked bacon, anything like that, but but very bitey, peppery, sharp. Yeah, this is weird. It has more of that oak note in this one too. More of a, a darker, darker charred wood. Super very um, beef jerky esque. If you smell a nice, uh, they used to make beef jerky snuff in a, in a, in a tin. That you could pretend it was it was tobacco, which of course ruined society. So we got rid of it, right? Of course. Um, but it smells just like that. A little bit of uh, faint dark fruits and a little bit of caramel under that, so I'm going to dive in. Cheers. Prost. Medium to low medium body. I would say the style is more closer to a bock. Um, it's got a soft brown sugar note in there. A little bit of that soft, softest faint of a caramel toffee raisin. But very, 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 very subtle. It's more brown sugar, a little bit of toasty note, peppy or peppery earthiness. And then the main key to this is, of course, the smoked beechwood malt. 
Beachwood. I think they use Beachwood. They might use Oak, but I think it's Beachwood. You get that charring, smoky, cured uh, beef jerky, bacon, those notes, smoked meats. Mm. That's such a nice flavor. It's just, to me, wow. If you're a vegan, maybe not so good. <laughs> to me, very, very good. Very good smoke flavor. I really do enjoy it. There's not too much going on though, so if you want a more dynamic approach to a beer, this one isn't super dynamic. This is more conquered by the oak smoke, or the beechwood smoke, char, smoky bacon, cured ham, those notes. Not super sweet. I've had some that brought a sweetness with that smoke. This one doesn't have that. You have a faint little toasted bread, burnt caramel, uh, brown, brown sugar note behind that, a little molasses behind that, drying it out even more. So, if that's your thing, this is for you. If you like that playful sweet note that some of these beers have, this one doesn't really have it. Just subtle, very subtle. Almost like some, there's some English ales that I've had that had this dry, let's go, um, let's go away from England, let's go to Belgium, like a Belgian double. Some doubles are sweet, some doubles are dry. This is like a, the same thing, a dry version of beers that we've all had that, are, that have sweet notes to it. This one doesn't. Uh, it's hard to talk about, there's not a lot going on, but it's still enjoyable, it's still smoked beer, it's still got those nuances that everyone wants to try, everyone wants to enjoy. So I do like that. It's above average, obviously. Smoked beer, this is a good one. I will have this again anytime. Reminds me a little bit of the Smoking Bishop from uh, New Zealand. Um, what would I give it on the, on the rating scale? Uh, I'd probably throw it in an eight. Not a problem, not a problem. I would appreciate more sweet notes, more complexity, a little bit of other things like I've got from some of the others. Um, but other than, other than that, it, it's a fine, fine beer and it's definitely above average. Definitely, excuse me, definitely solid, above solid beer. So before I run on too long, I'm going to give this one a thank, for, thank you to Peter for reviewing it. I didn't even know they made this beer, so as soon as I saw it, I picked it up. So this is from Paul B.A. Brudeus, enjoying a Fasten beer from Axel and Keller Rauch beer from Bomberg, Germany. Cheers. <laughs>